Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Mysterious Victim February 26 Who shall not fear you, O Lord, and glorify your name? For you alone are holy. Revelation 15, 4 At the cross of Calvary, Love and selfishness stood face to face. Here was their crowning manifestation. Christ had lived only to comfort and bless, and in putting him to death, Satan manifested the malignity of his hatred against God. He made it evident that the real purpose of his rebellion was to dethrone God and to destroy him through whom the love of God was shown. By the life and death of Christ, the thoughts of men and women also are brought to view. From the manger to the cross, the life of Jesus was a call to self-surrender and to fellowship in suffering. It unveiled the purpose of men and women. Jesus came with the truth of heaven and all who were listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit were drawn to him. The worshippers of self belonged to Satan's kingdom. In their attitude toward Christ, all would show on which side they stood, and thus everyone passed the judgment on himself. In the day of final judgment, every lost soul will understand the nature of his own rejection of truth. The cross will be presented, and its real bearing will be seen by every mind that has been blinded by transgression. Before the vision of Calvary, with its mysterious victim. Sinners will stand condemned. Every lying excuse will be swept away. Human apostasy will appear in its heinous character. People will see what their choice has been. Every question of truth and error in the long-standing controversy will then have been made plain. In the judgment of the universe, God will stand clear of blame for the existence or continuance of evil. It will be demonstrated that the divine decrees are not accessory to sin. There was no defect in God's government, no cause for disaffection. When the thoughts of all hearts had been revealed, both the loyal and rebellious will unite in declaring, Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? For thy judgments are made manifest. Revelation 15, 3, 4 Further reflection. How do I avoid the eternal implications of rejecting the cross of Christ? Am I resisting the appeal of the cross in some unsurrendered area of my life? Thank you.